Okay, it has been a long busy day and my ear right now is still blocked so I don't know how loud am I speaking but anyways um, I'm just downstairs walking to the new apartment right now just got the keys so I'm gonna check things out before my mom comes so hopefully I can show you guys around what to expect of a uh, HDB in Singapore so right now I'm just renting a place which is two bedrooms one, um, two baths one living room and one wet kitchen so the rent is less than 1.5 so the asking price was actually like 1.4 to 1.5 um, thousand a month but right now I just got it down a little bit and my block here is just really really annoying me so much but anyways I can't wait to show you guys so my view is this at night there is actually Malaysia already Johor Bahru and the checkpoint is just right there so can't wait to go in and see but this is my view for the next two years Okay, welcome to the space I'm living for the next two years. So this is my living room. It's pretty big of a space, honestly. So this is where the TV would be, but my mom and I don't really watch TV, so I just keep it as it is. We have new air conditioning, so this is a good thing. Living in Singapore is really, really very hot. So we have two bedrooms. The first one is this one right here. Very simple vanity table and we have wardrobes here another AC and a single bed right now heading into the second bedroom which is the master bedroom we have again another wardrobe here and a queen size bed honestly and then we have another vanity which uh, I don't think will come to use if we really need two vanities because I don't need to use a vanity table at all. So here it's a bathroom. It's honestly really very small. So right here, it's the shower head. So when you come in, right, you just got to close the door already in order to take a shower. And then you can see it's really, really very small space, but it's really an efficient use of space, honestly. Another AC, of course. So, coming into the kitchen, let's see. Okay, big space. Uh, we have the fridge, another fan here, the whole tabletop, and the gas stove. We have, moving on, a sink to wash. And I love bigger sinks because I hate, like, having to maneuver around a small sink so that's a good thing here um, you can see the space here is quite okay but the washing machine is so old like gosh it's freaking dirty I don't even know if I want to ask my landlord to like get us a new washing machine because this is really so old and I'm not too sure if they have washed dirty racks inside here or not or the past tenants have use it to wash dirty racks or not, it's disturbing to know if they did because I don't send my racks into the washing machine to wash and here it's a bigger bathroom of course, so... yeah and we have a utility room okay everything right now is in the utility room so I just need to reorganize a little bit um, I don't think that it would be converted into a workspace, but uh, more into a working. No, it won't be used as a working space. It won't use. It won't be used as a bedroom. It will just be used as a storage space, honestly. But if I need some, uh, I just need a small space um, to host my good friends. Then probably this would be the space that I might just use. But yeah, everything is just laying around like that and I don't understand why the doors are putting out but okay. So this is my space for the next two years and I hope that this video shows you like what to expect when you're renting a HDB in Singapore. 
Uh, right now I'm staying here at Woodlands, which is very far from the city. It took me about 1 hour and 15 minutes ride on the train and also on the bus. Considering that the train was only a minute wait and the bus was only like about 3 to 4 minutes waiting time. If it actually gets longer, then of course travel time would take longer. So yeah, that's about it for now. Bye!